The former Ethiopian health minister, the first African to hold the influential director general's post, has big plans. One is universal health coverage, the second is emergency uh, response uh, program, and then third is uh, focus on women, children and adolescents. And number four is climate change and health. And then number five is transforming WHO to make these four uh, priorities happen. He's also going to help African health ministers secure more funding. We're not reaching out to the other stakeholders to really help or do uh, their, their, their part. And that's why we have agreed that uh, WHO is not just technical, it's also political. So we will uh, go into political mobilization to engage uh, finance ministers, to engage heads of state, heads of governments and other sectors because health is, cannot be done by uh, the health sector uh, alone. Africa's overburdened health delivery systems are failing to adequately treat its people as the gap between the rich and poor widens. Health ministers have agreed to step up efforts to bring basic health care within everyone's reach. So you have the district uh, hospital surrounded by health centers. Now we're going further that each health center should be surrounded by health posts or village health posts. To me, that's primary health care. You, you then use village health workers or community health workers. Under the Abuja declaration made in 2001, at least 15% of national budgets should be allocated to health. Many African countries have failed to meet that threshold. Farai Makutuya, CGTN, Victoria Falls, Zimbabwe.